Hi guys, welcome to a tutorial video again. I was asked to do this by Zay, and I'm a bit late by 500 years, so I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna show how to do my glitch voice lens. Just sorry for that interruption, people. Anyway, uh, a glitch voice line is something basically like this. Beautiful, right? Anyway, uh, you know, and I heard that it is audition season for BFCI. So maybe, you know, you guys probably learned maybe you can get hired for it. Be with a voice language here. Don't really have any of those. But, you know. Alright, okay, for this, uh, you basically either want to record a line or get out a line sample. For this, I uh, I just asked some of my friends, my best friends, to give me samples. And I just have to find the samples, you know. Okay, I found the samples. Uh, and you know, you drive them in. The program I'm using is Audacity. And you know, so show about how I basically do it. Because yes, uh, you know, and then this is the original Epic Switch one. We don't talk about that. Oh, okay. Uh, the glide I'll be using is the uh, uh, one Zay Dash anime excuse me himself. Wowie, oh my god. Anyway, um. Anyway, uh, I'm just gonna lower this because I, I just realized I'm not sure if it's too loud for the video. Still, you know. Gotta stay careful. Okay. That Zay just love hearing all of this right now. <laughs> Just saying, he doesn't think I'm doing the tutorial, but I am. Anyway, here we have the normal sounding line. Yeah, <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. Okay, I actually think this voice line is actually probably perfect for this tutorial. Seeing how, you know, maybe if you're making a pippy song or doing a glitch voice line for someone, you know, aggression really adds to pippy, to pippy style, style stuff, depending on the vibes, you know. Anyway, one thing I do almost probably like all the time is go to a random section. We're gonna start at this uh, like you no know, the basic like start of the of the audio file here and then and then I go to effects special repeat and then the number of repeats to add. I just do five. Because I can. You can do whatever number you like, but I just use five because it works best to me. You have something like this now. And then, like, I just do that randomly. I'm not gonna keep that there because I don't really like it. If you just go to a random section of the voice of the, like, the audio file, select, then effects, uh, effects, uh, freaking, uh, effects special repeat. Apply if you have the number of repeats that you added, and so on. <laughs> and then, you know, you just add the repeat, and then we'll just give it a listen. And then, actually, yeah, that's probably that's pretty much perfect. And then you can just do that for the rest of your glitch line if you wanted to. But I just say probably don't do that because. It could sound excessive and kind of bad of a, a glitch line, which people probably might ask, how can a glitch line be bad? Well, um, it just may not sound the way it should probably sound, but you know. Uh, and when you do that and like select, and here's a trick you can do to just not do that entire process. You can just select a random section and then control R. And then you just you just do this, I guess, um, as many times as you want. Just don't like kind of repeat it too much. You know, this is basically like the base sample and stuff. So we have this, and then we can give it a short listen because yes, love it. I'll add some more at the end. 
and then that's basically the start of how I do it. This is obviously a bit more. One thing I like to do as well is, you know, uh, select a random part of the audio, control C, copy, and then paste it whatever. You know, it can add, it can add a really a, a sense of effect to the line itself. Just, uh, just depending on where you like took the other section and pasted it over to all the private sound. Good. And then, like, I just like to copy it a lot of times, a lot of times, because why, why not? <laughs> See, it's like that. <laughs> that's why, that's why I like doing voice lines, switching voice lines. They're very fun. And this is, like, my new style of how I do it, too. But, I mean, like, just, like, just go wild. Just make sure that the type of wild is, like, sensible at best, if that makes sense. And then, like when you're just like you like copy like select the section, copy, go to a section or and paste. Or if you want to, just select and then paste to delete a section. Cause why I don't know. Anyway, uh, one thing I like to do is add um static sounding, or well as better as it's probably called noise. And what I mean by this is you select the section, go to generate up here. And then noise. Here we have white, pink, and brownian. Brownian. I don't know how to pronounce that. I prefer either white or pink. Prefer uh, uh I prefer, just prefer white. Classical. And then my amp, uh, my amp is uh just zero point four, so that's not like loud. So it's like uh, which lines sometimes they can sometimes like be loud, like hurt some people with their drums. Even if your your drugs can handle that, you know, it's just like I say, lower lo lower lower like sounding levels is better. Anyway, we have something like, but that uh, does I just do that because I can, and because I want to. So we're gonna do that. Anyway, I I also like to go to a set special repeat, and then repeat the no the noise because like. It adds that good effect there. And then I also just like to copy that noise, paste it somewhere in the in the line itself. And you like just do that. It really it can really add a good like for all the uh if there's any points in the line that's like quiet at all <laughs> or like if the person or character or whatever is speaking in it and it's like you need something if you want something to fill up that a uh, like small bit of silentness you can just add the noise but you generally can just add the noise anywhere you want to just don't do it it's just at like too much it can be noticeable. How? Uh, because I can notice it. And uh, I think me no no noticing it at all is a big sign that uh that is a no. Okay. Anyway, another thing I like to add is that if the line has like any any like. Any section of it that's like just quiet at all, I like to copy that. I just like a small portion like that. Copy. Go to a random section of the uh voice line that's like that has audio. Paste in a lot. Cause it adds like a stuttering vibe. It's like when not like in uh, like in the song where it's like a part keeps cutting in all like in and out with the audio, like with the sounding. And then just does that like good beat drop or whatever. It sounds like it's not something like that. This is one of my favorite methods, I won't lie. And like, you just, you can even go even shorter. Like, click. Like, hold shift and click. And then... And I, I say for this one, you can do it as many times as you want. Just for specific sections though.
I say this vibe gets off like I think to me it gets off a vibe of like lagging. Like if the audio is probably like lagging while you're listening to it. It's like I just like pacing it a lot. Uh, hold on for this part I'm gonna add some noise. Gotta fill in all the silence. And then usually an old style I would just add noise at the end. But I don't feel like doing that today at least. Anyway, now we have something that's like Sounds great. I won't lie. I love it. Oh, wait. Now, if there's more you want to add, effect, pitch, and tempo. Now, I'm going to not select all of it, but I will select a, a select a portion of it. Go to effect, pitch, and tempo, pinch, sorry, no, pitch, and tempo, <laughs> change pitch, and then either negative or high. Now, I just add a limit to this, you know. I say the limit should be a 80 and then negative 80. I just like that, like, it goes from dark, it goes from uh, deep to high, and then throughout the line, I'll constantly do that until it gets like a really deep or probably really high. If that made sense to any of you, which I'll try my best to show that. It's so, like, we have that, select, control R. Just make sure you don't do this at least too much, because like for glitch lines, you uh you kind of want to make sure they're at least you know what the person's saying a little bit. But at the same time, it's fun when people don't know what they're saying, because it's like they have to decode it. Then you know, we have some uh portions of it that's simple to like a high pitch. We're gonna drag this and bring it to a lower lower pitch. So I guess negative forty would work. Select, Control R, do that to out the void the uh, freaking glitch line that you're doing as many as you times, whatever you prefer, honestly. And and right for some lines, we're not. I'll do this. Effect page tempo, change page. We'll go even higher. So negative eighty, somewhere in the eighties. Probably just like 85 or something. And I just have some of those lines that really go like super high. Like if someone's like singing a high pitch note. And then we'll do the same but for a lower pitch. Like someone's going through like freaking purity in the wrongest way possible. Control R. Oops. I did Control E. Uh, Control R. Yeah, some of these. And then, it'll most likely sound like this. Perfect. Now, for like big crushing stuff, I just say that there's other programs and like plugins for that. Because you can just add the big crush onto it in like, like different uh, programs like FS Studio, like, like the PC and the mobile, or probably like. I don't know any other. I'm sorry. Anyway, but um, if you want to do it on uh, Audacity, I use a plugin for it. It's called TB underscore Time Machine. I won't lie. I actually kind of forgot where I got this. I was just searching on YouTube for like plugins for like a big crush on Audacity. So you're gonna have to like kind of find out the plugin yourself if you want this. But um, it has good like uh, uh presets. The one that I use, two of them actually. R that I use mostly is 8-bit uh, fun and C-64 SID. Which 8-bit uh, fun makes it sound like normal bit crush. Really, you can really understand it, huh? Anyway, and then the other one, you know, uh, 64 over here, makes it sound like this. And high sign, not really understandable, but we can still use this to our advantage if you have the plugin at least, which I'll do so since I basically can. I like to add it at the end, like a trans uh, transitioning over to the end of the line. 
for that good event. Mm, I'll do that. I won't do that a lot at the end because I just don't want the last bit at the end to be like hearable. And then I'll do that again with the plugin, but then do 8 bit. Makes it sound all pitifully. And then that's pretty much how I like to do like my voice lines. Oh, sorry, no, my glitch, like how I glitched out the voice lines. So, like, really go crazy if you want. I mean, like, like you can do this with like as long as an audio file as you want, as long as it's like it doesn't like ping you or suffer you. I guess it's like. Just like that's just basically how I like to do it, and how I do it. I'm just mainly, I'm just mainly self-taught. All I know is that like, like one day I just go to a vet special, CVP, do that. It's like ah, okay, I'm seeing something, and then you're like, mm, that's just basically how I got here with like glitching with like, voice lines. Anyway, uh, that's pretty much it. My type of style. Hope this could be helpful in any sort of way. I'm not really good at explaining stuff, so, yeah. But, uh, yeah. Really hope this will help, uh, subscribe. I would appreciate it. Um, bye.